Listen here there, buddy. Guy yeah, buddy, guy yeah, buddy. We played a game today called They Are Here. And I am so excited. You both are so excited. It seems like the next year is going to be dominated by a bunch of Unity Engine. Alien first person shooter. An alien survivor horror films. We going to check as many of them out as possible. V0GU3.GQ is where you can find all my social. Social last name. Alright. Let's get right into it. We're gonna pull out the old control and Don't work in the menu. Let's see what the settings do say. Ooh, we got everything on it. Minimize OBS then. We are running borderless. Max FPS off, resolution scale, okay. Okay. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction at different speeds. After a while, they balanced the strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time he night it for five nights, according to the owner of the farm. All the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception, drawing attention to himself, or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local paper. And that's where we go stizzy. Shit, got out this van. Got a clipboard sent. That ain't no UFO. Is it? Is that a UFO? That's three UFO? Oh god. Cornfield. You know what this reminds me of? That Misty Elliott video from Pass That Dutch. Pass That Dutch. Pass That Dutch. You. Ooh. Stop these stops. Who's going to be creepy? Scarecrows. Oh, the potential. Farmer's note, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Nah, Peter Sherman done did been abducted. Shit. Rule number one. Bones don't work. Yeah, they done abducted his ass. They done did me anyway. Yeah, when I'm nervous, I talk like that. Oh, the refrigerator sounds are worse than a requiem for a jury. On that old lady bugging. That's the useful thing. This is old. Melt. Ate some meat, sir. Eat, sir. She's still laughing. This is called Santa. Not let the outside in. I hope we can blow that up. I mean, that's electricity. That should be a tangible. Ten cheesy? Ah, I can't open the green can. Hey, pointing at the UFO. Are the Shermans aliens? That room has a creepy blue light, so we go to the other room for dog. 
Oh, this is a child's room. Let's see who can be here now. Yeah, this little child see alien. Yo, the aliens done killed her dog. Couldn't be clear. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. In the photo of members of the Sherman family. Why wouldn't... What the fuck, folks? Wicked. Her name was Megan. She don't eat bacon. She's one of them. Bacon. Maybe a pagan. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. They are not little green men, but big, creaky, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following ways. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair. Bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears. And animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses when they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or on a road, a few kilometers away from home, some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the bodies, incisions to be exact during palpitation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. God dang. They doing that shit. So that blue light was the computer. What this may have been reading. The amount of backstory here. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. They were standing over me. I woke up on the pier later in the evening. I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ear. Fucking shit. shit on a butt dick. Shit on a butt dick. That's 
That's aliens, dog. There's aliens, dog. No, not through the cornfields. Not through the cornfields, dog. Pass that dodge. Pass that dodge. <laughs> Yo, that's just Missy Elliot, dog. It's just Missy Elliot. It's just Missy Elliot. It's just Missy Elliot. Get in the car and dip set, dog. But oh, this is where you get fucking up to. My name is Tony Vogue. I just got abducted by aliens. Send help. Pow.